There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> We've been learning all about animals today at school. And birds and fishes. Moles are animals and I'm a mole. Let's go and find Uncle Rolly and tell him all about it. Ready? Then off we go! Whee! <laughs> Rub a dub dub, scrub a dee scrub. I like. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just getting ready to have my bath. Oh, I do love baths. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little bow. I was just telling our friends that I'm just going to have my bath before tea. You're going to be like a fish, splashing about in the water. <laughs> yes, I am. But really, you're an animal, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm a mole, just like you. Yes, and we live underground, not in the water like a fish. That's right. Can I have a story before you have your bath, Uncle Rolly? Please, please, please. Oh, all right, then. What would you like a story about? One with an animal in it, please. Coming right up. <laughs> One morning, the grumpy giant was even more grumpy than usual. Fee, fi, fo, fum, he sighed. What is the matter? asked Jack. A giant should be big and friendly, and you're always in a bad mood. I can't help it, said the giant. I don't like being so big and tall. Every day birds land on my head, and the clouds tickle my nose. And no one ever talks to me except you because I'm too far up. Jack was a kind boy and wanted to help his friend the grumpy giant. I know, he thought. I'll sell my cow and buy the grumpy giant the biggest bunch of flowers in the world. That will cheer him up. But as Jack walked into town with the cow, he felt sadder and sadder because the cow had been his friend for so long and gave him delicious milk to put on his porridge every morning. On the road, they met a tired old wizard carrying some letters. I can't walk any further, said the wizard. Climb on my cow, said Jack. The cow was a bit surprised to have a wizard on her back, but she was a good cow and carried him all the way to the post office. Thank you, Jack, said the wizard, and he gave Jack three jelly beans. Jack was pleased because his tummy was rumbling and he loved jelly beans. But before he could pop them in his mouth, the wizard said, Be careful, Jack. Uh, these are magic jelly beans. Hooray! said Jack. Now I don't have to sell the cow. I can give the giant a jelly bean instead and that will make him happy. So Jack gave one bean to the giant, one bean to the cow, and he kept one for himself. The cow ate her bean, got the hiccups and had to lie down. Jack planted his bean in the ground and waited for some magic. But nothing happened. What's the use of a magic bean if it isn't magic? said the giant, and he threw his bean away. He popped a passing cloud to show how cross he was, and it rained all over Jack and all over the magic beans. And the beans each grew into a beanstalk. The beanstalks grew taller and taller, and then taller still, until they were as tall as the giant. So Jack made a sign which said, Magic beanstalks, this way for the giant. And lots of children climbed up the beanstalk to say hello to the giant, and they told him jokes and made him laugh. And the giant was never grumpy again, except sometimes on a Tuesday.
Hmm. Now it really is time for my bath. You go! Me go! We go! Amigo! Let's a go go! What's that on your head, Rolly? <laughs> Uncle Rolly's going to have a bath. He's going to be a fish. Oh, I'm a fish. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> hmm. I think we'd better have a look in my busy book, Migo. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? Oh, look, a fish. And a bird. And a cat. Look, there's a basket. Who belongs in the basket? Is it the fish? Or the bird? Or the cat? <coughs> Is it the fish? Oh, no, the fish doesn't belong in the basket. Does the cat belong in the basket? <coughs> Oh, look! A nest! <gasps> Who lives in a nest? Is it the bird or the fish? Does the bird live in the nest? Oh, yes. The bird lives in the nest. So where does the fish live? A pond. The fish lives in the pond. <laughs> That's the humdinger tree. Now, who lives in the humdinger tree? It's Rocket. Rocket lives in the humdinger tree. We did it! Thank you, Baby Pom. See you again soon. think you're really a fish, are you, Migo? You don't like the rain. And you don't like baths, either. That's true. I don't like water at all. No, I am not a fish. Um, but talking of baths, I'd like to have my bath now. So, uh, if you just excuse me. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Let's a go go! <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Rolly Gator. <laughs> If I'm not a fish, then I must be a bird. Look, I'm flapping my wings. Look at me flapping my wings. <laughs> uh, Migo. Sorry, can't talk, little bird. I'm busy flying. But, <laughs> Migo, you're not going anywhere. Uh, what? Oh, no, I'm not. You haven't got wings, Migo. Ow. You need wings to be able to fly, like Bessie. So what am I then, little bird? Well, you're a snoot. And a snoot is an animal, just like a mole. But we're not moles, are we, little Bo? Well, now, let's see. Can you roll? Er, uh, no. Can you dig tunnels underground? Yes! With your paws? No! We're not moles, Migo. No, we're just snoots. <sighs> That's right, you're snoots, and snoots are snootylicious. Hmm. I think it's time for a story. Oh, story time with little Bo? Our favourite time of day. Then I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> <laughs> you will see when you take a look inside a book it's fun as fun can be with cats and dogs and birds and frogs a monkey who says boo boo wonderful things giants and kings and maybe a thimble or two now what have we here when you take a look inside a book who knows what you might see Over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. <sighs> One story about being yourself, if you please. Ah, thank 
Thank you. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Josh was very excited. His mum was having a baby. And soon Josh would meet his new sister for the very first time. When mum and dad got home from the hospital, Josh looked at the tiny baby. This is your sister, Martha, said dad. Say hello to your big brother, mum said to the baby. But Martha just cried. <coughs> hush, hush, said mum. And she wrapped Martha up in a soft pink blanket and gave her a cuddle. Martha stopped crying. I want a blanket too, said Josh. So Dad wrapped him up in his old blue blankie and gave him a cuddle. Wah! Wah! Martha cried again. Hush, hush, said Mum. It must be time for a sleep. So she lay Martha down in her basket. Martha stopped crying. Wah! Wah! cried Josh. I'm tired too. So Dad lay Josh down on the floor and he pretended to go to sleep. Then Auntie Lou came round and gave Martha a fluffy lamb to play with. Can I play with it? Well, I thought you were asleep, said Auntie Lou. And anyway, I thought you might like this instead. And she got a lovely new shiny football from her bag. Josh wriggled under the blanket. He was a bit hot now, and he wasn't really tired. He looked at the football. It looked much more fun than a fluffy lamb. He jumped up and raced over to Auntie Lou. It was fun being a baby, he said as he kicked his new ball. But it's much more fun being me. And it's fun being me too. And me. I like being a snoot. Yeah, uh, we can snootle. <laughs> and we're good at remembering things. At least I think I am. And we can eat. At least I can. Yamati carrots. And sprouts. And molly munchies. And... Our favourite colour is orange. And we can whistle through our snooters. Moly mo, can we whistle through our snooters? <gasps> Wowsy bowsy, you can whistle. But the really best thing about being a snoot is wearing matching suits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, little bow, I like being a snoot. Me too. A snoot is a beaut, a beautiful thing. A snoot is so cute, and a snoot likes to sing. A snoot has a snooter, he can use as a hooter. He's sunny and bright all day. A snoot likes to scoot around in his suit, and a snoot's just happy to play. Toot toot, you're a snoot, and I know how to scoot. Toot toot, you're a snoot, and you're wearing a suit. Toot toot, you're a snoot, not a newt or a coot. Toot toot, what a beaut! I'm a snoot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, haven't we had fun today? Yes, yes it's, it's been a roly moly day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! Little Bo? Yes, Hugo? I've just remembered something else that Snoots can do. What's that, Hugo? Um, I've forgotten. Oops, a lazy daisy.